Hey guys, Dave Shopius here. Um, showing you what I've been working on these past few months. I think it's been almost a year now designing this arm. Um, this is just a sneak peek. I'm not going to show you what's inside of it right now because it'll take a while to get it all taken apart. But um, there's four joints on it. Um, give you a little bit of a peek here. There's my uh, first motor right there and the arm mechanism going up inside of it. Um, I designed that myself. Um, this is a motor. I'll give you all the specs on it uh, at another time. I just want to give you a quick shot here what it does. It's run through um, EZB version 4 uh, with a 30 amp power supply. This thing whole uh, setup pulls about uh, 20 amps when it's really rocking. Uh, that's a battery for the um, saber tooth uh, for the regenerative power, regenerative power to sink back into. Now this version, um, I can put some resistors across there. Uh, bet be between the uh, power output and the power inputs over here and get rid of that, amp that battery, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and uh, I'm s uh, converting the power from 12 volts down to uh, a couple of different voltages here with these um, voltage converters. Uh, some of my servos run at 6 and one runs at 7.4 volts. Um, again, uh, there's, uh, there's one joint at the back that's going to be the elbow. There's two more here in the wrist up and down and side to side. And uh, there's going to be one, another one for the claw. By the way, um, that is uh, Craig's wrist fiberglass wrist joint right there and Bill's uh, claw so it's all it's all ready to go I had to do some cobbling to get all that together and it worked out really good here's the easy B interface that I'm gonna start uh, revving up right now uh, I got very crude arm movements um, it's coded in here and scripts and they're kind of pieced together so I'm gonna start with like three different scripts here the arm the arm uh, test Whoops, sorry about that. Start, the claw start, and the rest of it start. And here it goes. Tell me if you think this is going to make a good B9 arm. Goes up and down, back and forth. Looks like the claws aren't opening and closing. But that's okay. Uh, you're going to get the. I just want to show you the movement right now. Well, again, this is just a really quick routine. I kind of coated it in really quick. I think it's going to be fine. Up and down, wrist joints back and forth. Let me see if I can't get those claws going. Let's stop everything. Reset my servo speeds. There we go. Working now. See him going. Don't worry about those screws in there. I'll have all that covered up. You'll never see those. That's just the way I had to put it together to get uh, as much torque out of this thing as I wanted. Let me start everything else again. You don't need to see that. Arm up and down. And that's the elbow joint. It'll be about nine inches outside of the torso so it clears the armholes. And there's the wrists going. Sorry about my camera skills here.
That's rather ominous, I think. Don't know if it'll be able to hold anything at this point. Uh, it's pretty strong servos I got in there. Let me, uh, I stopped the elbow and now you can just see the wrist moving. Again, it's just a crude uh, script I've got written. Uh, the possibilities are endless for animation. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a, an idea of what it looks like. Um, my B9 arm. I've been designing that for about a year now. Um, I'm all excited about it. I'm going to take it all apart and uh, make another video of it without the skin on it so you guys can see how it all works. Okay? Uh, enjoy. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.